The Pittsburgh Steelers are off to a scorching start, boasting a 3-0 record as they head into a critical matchup against the Indianapolis Colts. With a defense that has been virtually impenetrable, allowing fewer than 10 points in consecutive games, the Steelers look like a team that could go all the way. But can they maintain this dominance against a Colts team that's desperate to turn things around? This week's clash at Lucas Oil Stadium could be a pivotal moment for both franchises. With injuries piling up on both sides, this game promises to be a test of depth, strategy, and resilience. But will the Steelers' defense continue its reign, or will the Colts find a way to exploit their vulnerabilities? Make sure to comment below with your predictions and subscribe for all the latest Pittsburgh Steelers news, updates, and in-depth analysis. Let's dive into everything you need to know about this matchup. This week, all eyes are on the showdown between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Indianapolis Colts. The Steelers come into this game with an unblemished 3-0 record, sitting comfortably atop the AFC conference. They've been a force on defense, shutting down offenses week after week and emerging as one of the league's most formidable units. The Colts, on the other hand, are struggling at 1-2, looking to find their rhythm in what has been a challenging start to their season. As the Steelers travel to Indianapolis, the pressure is on both teams. For Pittsburgh, it's about maintaining momentum and solidifying their position as the AFC's team to beat. For Indianapolis, it's about salvaging a season that could quickly slip away. The Steelers have a golden opportunity to keep their winning streak alive, but they'll need to overcome a determined Colts squad playing on their home turf. This game is crucial for both sides, but for different reasons. The Steelers need to capitalize on the easier part of their schedule before they hit a brutal second half loaded with elite competition. Meanwhile, the Colts are fighting to avoid a 1-3 start, which could derail their season. This sets the stage for a high-stakes battle where every play will matter. The Steelers' success this season has been largely attributed to their defense, which is currently ranked number one in the NFL. This unit has been nothing short of dominant, holding opponents to under 16 points in every game so far. With key players like TJ Watt and Cameron Hayward leading the charge, the Steelers' defense has made life miserable for quarterbacks across the league. Against the Colts, the Steelers' defense will face an inexperienced quarterback in Anthony Richardson, who has shown flashes of potential but is still finding his footing in the NFL. The Steelers have excelled against mobile quarterbacks, thanks in part to their experience defending against players like Lamar Jackson. This familiarity could be a critical factor in containing Richardson and forcing the Colts to rely on their ground game. But it's not just about the stars. The Steelers' depth on defense has been remarkable, with contributions from veterans and young players alike. The injury report has been lengthy, but Pittsburgh's ability to plug in replacements without missing a beat has been a testament to their defensive coaching and preparation. They'll need every bit of that depth as they look to stifle the Colts' offense. Injuries have become a significant storyline heading into this game. For the Steelers, the list of players dealing with ailments seems endless. Key players like Alex Highsmith, who suffered a groin injury, and running back Jalen Warren, who is nursing a knee issue, are just a few of the names causing concern. The status of these players will be critical as Pittsburgh tries to keep its defensive dominance intact. Quarterback Russell Wilson, who has been sidelined with a calf injury, is another question mark for the Steelers. While he's expected to be inactive, his presence as an emergency backup could still influence how the Steelers approach their offensive game plan. Meanwhile, guard Isaac Sumolo's doubtful status could impact the offensive line's effectiveness, especially in protecting the quarterback and opening up running lanes. The Colts aren't faring much better on the injury front. Cornerback Kenny Moore II and defensive end Quiddy Pay are both out, leaving significant holes in the Colts' defense. Additionally, their center, Ryan Kelly, is questionable, which could further complicate their offensive strategies. Both teams will need to dig deep into their rosters, and how they manage these injuries could be the deciding factor. The Indianapolis Colts have had a bumpy start to their season, coming into this game with a 1-2 record. They've shown moments of promise, particularly in their Week 1 victory, but consistency has eluded them. The offense, led by young quarterback Anthony Richardson, is still searching for its identity, 
and the team's defensive struggles have only added to their woes. For the Colts, this game is a must-win. Falling to 1-3 would not only be a blow to their playoff hopes but could also erode the confidence they built early in the season. The challenge will be significant, especially against a Steelers defense that thrives on creating chaos and turnovers. Richardson will need to be sharp, and the Colts' offensive line must protect him better than they have in recent weeks. On defense, the Colts have struggled to stop the run and defend against big plays. With key defenders out, they'll need to rely on their backups to step up against a Steelers offense that is starting to find its groove. The Colts' path to victory lies in controlling the tempo, protecting the ball, and finding ways to exploit the Steelers' secondary. But with so many question marks, it's an uphill battle. As the Steelers prepare to face the Colts, several key matchups will define the game's outcome. The most intriguing battle will be between the Steelers' front seven and the Colts' offensive line. With the Colts' missing key linemen, Pittsburgh's pass rush, led by T.J. Watt, could have a field day. Richardson's mobility will be tested as he faces relentless pressure from a Steelers defense that excels at forcing mistakes. On the other side of the ball, the Steelers' offense will look to exploit a weakened Colts secondary. Wide receivers like George Pickens and Calvin Austin have shown big playability, and if quarterback Justin Fields can continue his upward trajectory, the Steelers could put up points in a hurry. The Steelers' run game, led by Najee Harris, will also be crucial in wearing down the Colts' defense. Special teams could be a game-changer as well. The Steelers' unit has been solid, but any missteps could swing the game in the Colts' favor. With both teams dealing with injuries, field position battles and timely kicks will be critical. Whichever team can make the most of these often overlooked moments will likely come out on top. Given the current trajectories of both teams, the Steelers appear to have the upper hand heading into this matchup. Their defense has been elite, and their offense is gradually improving each week. The Colts, meanwhile, are still searching for answers on both sides of the ball and will be without several key players. This combination makes it difficult to see how Indianapolis can pull off the upset. The Steelers should be able to control the game with their defense, forcing Richardson into uncomfortable situations and limiting the Colts' offensive options. If Pittsburgh can generate pressure early and often, they'll likely disrupt any rhythm the Colts try to establish. Offensively, the Steelers don't need to be spectacular, just efficient and mistake-free. My prediction? The Steelers will continue their winning ways, securing a 4-0 start with a victory over the Colts. Look for a solid performance from the defense, complemented by timely plays from the offense. It won't be easy, but Pittsburgh's ability to capitalize on the Colts' weaknesses should carry them through. As the Steelers aim to extend their perfect start, this game against the Colts represents more than just another win. It's a chance to build confidence, test their depth, and continue setting the tone for the rest of the season. With tougher games looming on the horizon, Pittsburgh knows it must capitalize on opportunities like this one to avoid playing catch-up later in the year. For fans, this matchup offers a glimpse into the resilience and adaptability of the Steelers. Will the injuries slow them down, or will they rise above and showcase why they are the team to beat in the AFC? The stakes are high, and the excitement is palpable. Don't miss a moment of this action-packed game. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like the video, leave your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to the channel for more Pittsburgh Steelers news, updates, and analysis. Your support helps us bring you the best coverage of your favorite team. Until next time, Stay tuned for more Steelers news.